Can you talk about going one on one this weekend against Florida State and Duke? Yeah, um, you know, two top ACC schools, and um, you know, going down to Tallahassee is always a tough trip for anybody. And um, Florida State was third in the country, and um, you know, 26 home win streak, and it was a really big challenge. When we got up 2-0 at halftime, we thought we were gonna we were gonna put the win streak behind them, and nobody scored two goals on them since 2001. So we were feeling really, really confident um, at halftime, and we played really well second half. And uh, you know, our, our assistant Mike Levine had a comment and said, if if it wasn't for bad luck, we wouldn't have any. And that sort of came through in that match. You know, we scored an own goal and then a late PK in the dwindling moments and lost four to three. But, um, you know, clearly to go down there, they had only four goals scored on them the whole season. To score three against them on their home field was quite an accomplishment. And um, like any match, we try to take the good good from the match and, and, and build off of that. And, and we did that. And going into the Duke match, um, again, I think Duke's a team that has a lot of talent. They have six or seven national team kids starting. And we said, hey, you know, we know we can play with anybody. We know we're among, among the best. We have another ACC school coming in. Let's get it all together. And, and we're back home, which was nice. And um, it all came together. Uh, can you speak on the scoring output lately? I'm sorry? Uh, uh, can you speak on the scoring output lately? Yeah, you know, in, in my opinion, we have one of the best combinations of two forwards with Steph McCaffrey and Mackenzie Meehan. There's a lot of great forwards in our league. But in terms of a combination, I think we have the best matchup. Um, they have a lot of respect for each other. They look for each other constantly. They're both selfless. And they both make each other look better. And uh, right now, you know, we, we have Mackenzie Meehan, who's leading the conference in scoring. And I think Steph might have the most assists in the conference. And I think that's, at this time of the year, a great, great mo motivation for us all. Can you talk about uh, Steph McCaffrey's performance at, uh, Sunday against Duke? Yeah, I mean, it's the best I've ever seen a play. It's, it's, it's probably the best I've ever seen a forward play in the ACC. She started off, and obviously she, she got taken down in the butt box. And, and again, that's sort of her selfless personality. She could have taken the PK, and she gave it to Mackenzie Meehan. And, um, you know, then I think she was a handful the whole game, playing with her back towards goal, playing other people in, relentless defense, and then three beautiful goals. So she's, she's in her element right now, that's for sure. Uh, how are you preparing for North Carolina on Sunday? Yeah, um, the first thing is it's so nice to have a break. We we haven't we haven't had um, a week where we can just prepare for an opponent. We've had Thursday Sunday games, um, which and a lot of travel. So I think it's really good for the kids to just settle back down, be home. Um, so the first thing is just the the fact that they can be in their classes all week, and we can take a little time. We need to rest a couple of our players, and we have the opportunity to do that. Um, you know, our matchups against UNC have always been great. We've had great games with them. Their style of play is they're very direct and, you know, they've got great individuals. They play a 3-4-3 three, three, and um, we'll have to manage that tactically and, and, and discuss that. But the nice thing is that we have the time to do that. And it um, doesn't take much to get up for UNC, that's for sure. Great. Thank you.